Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. This is another pre-order. I got a ton of them out right now. Hoping they start coming in. Feels like I'm constantly buying shit and never getting anything. Um, this is from EMP EDC, Every Man's Pocket EDC. This is the Nimble. This is a knife I was very excited about when it was in early stages. Um, the prototype stage the uh pre-order stage i really hyped it up when i found out it was being oem by qsp my only concern is the detent and how it works left-handed qsp does a good job with detent so that's why i went ahead and, and got behind it um yeah let's just see how it is i've heard some good things a few channels have already checked this knife out um recently on live streams and stuff i've given the guy a little bit of shit um because i originally asked him if he would send me one to check out and he told me he wasn't sending review copies out um and then all of a sudden right before all the pre-order ship he sent out copies to a few channels and uh i got butt hurt that's all i can say i'm being honest here i got butt hurt um I was like, I was just a little pissed off that I didn't get to check one out after asking and being told he wasn't going to do that because he didn't want to overhype the knife. He wants to always have stock for people to buy. Those are his words. Um, and it just pissed me off and I am officially letting it go. I was being a bit of a dick and a baby. Uh, I could do that sometimes. I'm an adult, but I'm also a human being. So there it is. Full story, full disclosure, all good. All right, this is number four, uh, 14, serial number 14, M390, Nimble Frame Lock, first production. There's your EMP EDC sticker. Here is another one and another one. His symbol basically is an atom with a dude in it. I don't know if that's supposed to be the Slender Man guy, but I don't know. He also initialed this thing. You can see everything right here. Very cool. Basically a COA built in. Again, this is uh, OEM by QSP. It is a tiny ass knife. I thought it would be a little bigger, but I knew it was going to be small, like three inch or so. Um, it feels really good right off the bat. Uh, I like the styling. Man, this thing is small. It's crazy. Uh, I'm hoping that lock bar doesn't get in my way, but I got a bad feeling about it. Let's feel her out. Minor detent lash. Pretty pretty normal stuff there. Um, it's not bad or anything. We are dead centered. I went with the frag pattern and uh, gold accents because I always go with the plain tie and blue. And that's the other option, which matches me a little better. But I wanted to try something different. This was $249, I believe, on pre-order. I believe he's doing a uh, he's doing a launch on Saturday, July seventeenth. So I should get this out before then, um, so you guys can go ahead and pick one up if you missed out. If I really like it, I might get the other one. If I don't, we'll see what happens. Right? It is tiny, guys. So let me just feel out the flipper tab right-handed here. Okay, let's feel the action. Action feels good. Uh, if you pull that flipper tab back, it fires out. I can do my test and fail it, but that's mainly because the front flipper tab's hitting me. It's not because it's failing, I don't think. If I got my finger out of there, man, this is funny. It fires, uh, which is good. I like that choil. Lefty flick coming up. Ooh, I can do it. All right. Uh, finger choil right here. Let's feel out the ergo. So back here, I, I'm, I'm not quite, I guess I am just getting all the way on. And then you have this choil up here, which gives you a comfortable grip. Yep, this feels good. M390 steel with a satin finish. Oh man, look at this action though. Right out of the box. Let's try the front flip left-handed. Front flip left-handed. That feels fantastic. Thumb flick. Feels good. Flipper tab lefty. I mean, the action 
as I've been told, is dialed for basically anything and everything. Um, it's a little small, so like my my thumb is basically resting on the blade when I go to do the reverse flick, but it works. Um, let me try it. If I put my thumb up here, let's see. Yeah, it flicks there as well. The only place I can't put it is right on the, oh, well. Yeah, if you put it right on the lock bar, it's not gonna shoot out, but almost anywhere else, which for me in the most comfortable seems to be like right over the blade. And it shoots out, seems fine. Um, I gotta play with it more when I'm not like just sitting in a truck right-handed. Obviously, you're gonna really love that. Um, interesting action on this thing I mean it is basically drop shut I haven't even put KPL in it little bit of play so it could be you know he tuned it a little bit before sending them out uh, so I may need to tighten that up a little bit um, yeah that, that detent play isn't too bad um, I'm really liking it actually I like the frag pattern. I actually get a really good grip on the knife with that. Um, so I'm kind of glad I went with that. Um, man, the flipper tab's nice. Slow roll it out. I mean, guys, it's pretty fucking nice. Uh, I will say there's a little bit of lock stick. Yeah, it kind of grinds a little bit. I don't know if you can hear it, but... I mean, it doesn't really bother me if you just put it over. And I'm sure if I uh, clean everything up and, you know, whatever, I'm sure it'll go away eventually, break in or something. Um, and this thing is sort of addictive. Uh, I will say right off the bat, it's a little small on the reverse flick for me. It just doesn't feel quite perfectly comfortable. Um, you know, I have to pay attention because now I'm on the lock bar. Um, and it's hard to, on a knife like this to go lower because it's already small, right? Uh, obviously, the reverse flick is my preferred method of deployment. So I want it to be consistent. I want it to be solid. Um, it seems like I can get that if I just, you know, I just have to stay off that lock bar. It doesn't seem to be like I'm always on it. Just occasionally I accidentally get on there and then I can't get it out, right? So as long as I try to keep that clip under my thumb somewhere, it seems to shoot out right away. Um, this is a really cool little knife, guys. I, I forgot about the front flipper already. There it is. Can you do a uh, like index flip? Yeah, I can't really get behind it, you know. Um, flipper tab. The the detent is a little weak on the flipper. But it is designed in a Vero style, kind of like a flat, straight flipper. So when you do pull back, you tend to pull back and down, and it gives you a little more leverage, and the detent doesn't need to be as strong. That's probably the saving grace on this flipper tab, because if it was a normal flipper tab with this detent, it would just like lollipop out. Um, but because of that flipper design, it flies back, flies out. Uh, man, this thing is fidgety as a monkey's asshole. I don't know why a monkey's asshole would be fidgety, but uh, let me try to get that out. Bang. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm addicted, guys. Uh, this was worth the wait. This is definitely a solid piece. If you want to wait a second, I might as well do it. I could tighten up that pivot and see if it changes anything. Might as well. We're here, aren't we? Get my bits, and then I just need my damn designs sidekick. Another kind of company like this, run by a dude. Love it. Love these companies, guys. Boutique knife shops, or knife designers. Here we go, T8, all right. And yeah, I could tighten that down a little bit there, so that's good. I'll check the others. Uh, oh, we got T6s, guys. So 
So everything else is a T6. That's not great, but it is a small knife, so I kind of understand. Uh, looks like tightening that pivot actually took the blade off center. So now it's over towards the clip a little bit. So I'm guessing he had it the way he did because he wanted it to be centered. But now there's no play. Um, and the action is not as good. But, you know, you got... I don't like that. I don't like having to have a balance between those. Uh, no play. You know, this is why I like the two knives. Yeah, I can see now it's centered up. And now I bet you there's a little bit of that play. Tiniest bit. So if I messed with this and I got it to where I wanted it and then I Loctited it, I bet you it'll be perfect. So uh, I'm not going to hold that against it. Uh, the slightest bit off on the center. I mean, it is dead center right now. And I can barely feel the play. Um, so, I mean, if I, if I really mess with it, and I will later... I can get it to be almost perfect, and uh, I'll figure that out. I could sacrifice a little bit of centering like this. I mean, it's still really good um, for, you know, no play and good action. A little uh, KPL heavy on the detent ball. We're probably going to be singing. Um, yeah, it's a dope-ass knife, guys. I'm very excited that I finally got this bad boy uh, in hand. So here's a quick look at it up close. There's your blade, that nice um, satin finish on there. And then you have the frag pattern with the uh, gold accents or bronze accents, whatever one you want to pick. Uh, number 14 right here is numbered, which is cool. He will have some Moku tie clips available uh, and backspacer sets on Saturday. I might try to pick one of those up. I'm half tempted. We'll see how it goes over the next few days half tempted to just pick up the blue one um just to have both uh this thing is feeling really good guys I, i'm i'm actually blown away um other than those minor things i pointed out really minor guys seriously minor um now i have no blade play and i am pretty much dead center so it's breaking in uh oh my goodness see right here i'm stuck right on the lock bar that's the only spot that i can't hit um and i just got to deal with that so uh this is a cool knife i'm gonna shut up now this is the emp edc nimble guys coming at you hot check it out on saturday july 17th there's gonna be a drop i believe they will be 279 you're talking titanium and m390 with either this cool frag pattern or a uh stone washed i believe handle uh plain tie with blue accents very vero-esque uh this one was a little different and that's why i went with it so uh there it is guys i hope you have a fantastic day i love you all and i will catch you later